Welcome to What America's Thinking for Wednesday, November 6th. I'm Crystal Ball in for Jamal Simmons. Many might think presidential hopefuls Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are two peas in a political pod. They both, of course, support progressive policies like Medicare for All, and they both base their platforms on fighting for the working class and against corporatists. But recently, Sanders made a point of distinguishing himself from his fellow contender and friend. Elizabeth Warren has been a friend of mine for some 25 years. And uh, I think she is a very, very good senator. Uh, but there are differences between Elizabeth and myself. Elizabeth, I think, as you know, has said that she is a capitalist through her bones. I'm not. Now, Bernie Sanders, of course, is the only 2020 Democrat that self-identifies as a democratic socialist. In a speech, Sanders defined the term as achieving political and economic freedom in every community. But President Trump and Republicans use socialism to stoke mistrust among voters who associate that term with the Cold War instead of economic parity. But is there a distinction between being a socialist and a democratic socialist? And would Americans vote for someone who identifies as such? So we asked, would you ever vote for a socialist for elected office? And then we asked, would you ever vote for a democratic socialist for elected office? Here are the results. Our Hill Harris X daily poll found that only about a third of voters, 28%, say that they would vote for a socialist for elected office. But when we asked about voting for a democratic socialist, that number shot up to almost half of respondents at 48%. So let's take a closer look here. 75% of Democrats said they would vote for a democratic socialist, while just 36% of Indies and 26% of GOP voters say that they would do the same. And among different age groups, millennials are the most likely to say they would go to the ballot box for a democratic socialist at 70 percent. So do you agree with these findings? Would you vote for a democratic socialist? Let us know in the comments and see you next time. Thanks for watching What America's Thinking. As always, you can catch more great content from Hill TV by subscribing to the Hill's YouTube channel. Just click the bell so you know when new videos get posted. And head to thehill.com for all the latest political news. You can also find me at Jamal Simmons on Twitter and at Real Jamal Simmons on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time.